Hey, welcome to a new session here on 2B2T. And I found something out really interesting regarding YAW that you can indeed lock cardinal. Oh, I still have my crap in here. <laughs> um, uh, uh, ignore that shit. I, I was messing around with YAW and I tried to, you know, lock the direction in cardinal <sighs> directions. And then I found out that Solhack already has this cardinal option, which, you know, locks you to the cardinal directions that is closest to the one that you're looking at. And um, yeah, it took me like way too long to realize that. Auto walk, and let's go with um, sprint. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. So. so yeah, it's always nice if the client has it included already. It's it's always the worst to have custom modifications of software, which then, you know, get removed on updates or you have to port somewhere, have to carry around yourself. So um, I really, yeah, I love the fact that I did not have to edit the client, which as you can see was a mess anyway. So I tried to set a pitch and a yaw value and I copied it from the free cam code so it has the free cam description down here. Um, yeah, the thing that is awesome about this is I can open this hex menu, uh, the modules menu and it will not mess up my direction. Oh, it influences it though, but it flicks back. Interesting. So that's that. Um, yeah, since I was focusing on the uh, feature that existed already, there's yeah nothing much um, I did other than that. So auto eat is still bugged. Well, while I'm active, I guess I have to keep this menu open and I still don't start running. Um, yes. And what else? Yeah, I did look into uh, safe walk, extending safe walk in detecting lava. Um, I still feel, yeah, completely lost in this whole so space and um, in in Minecraft in general. So, not too much progress there. Um, yeah, let's see if I find the motivation and time and skill, coding skills to uh, be able to inst uh, extend my safe walk. And then I, um, yeah, I almost have a baritone replacement if I can walk straight the cardinal direction, walk um, and eat and uh, yeah, do not fall off shit and do not run into lava. That would be great. Uh, next extension would be to jump out of holes that are, you know, yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't fall into holes, but like jump above blocks that are in the way and jump over or like bridge with blocks, holes in the air and the floor. Um, well, that sounds kind of complicated if you ask me, but anyways, let's see how that goes. Or I try to install baritone, which is also an option. Not sure yet, not sure yet. I'm. I'm kind of uh, you know, satisfied already with what I have here. This cell hack is, is not too bad. So, it's kind of weird though that this yaw hack still gives me the ability to influence my direction and it's so glitchy, but hey. Uh, yeah. Automatically sprints for you.
I'm sure I can auto walk and sprint at the same time. I still just haven't figured out how, so that's that. Prevents bobbing. Is that like the thing that if I. Nah. <laughs> Ooh. No armor, map spots. Oh, awesome. Doesn't render wither names. Will it also, well, wither names and boss by health, I can also do that with the texture pack, but if the wither is not renamed, will it, will it also disappear? But that's actually very useful. Mm. Why is it not running? Okay, that's how I can activate it. Cool, cool. Yeah, well, yeah, that's not too exciting, is it? Wait, what is... What is a fake player? Interesting. Jarred, the name seems familiar. So, ah, I can now test. Can't I? For example, oh no, I didn't put free cam there, I put it on R. Is it the same as visual range? Is it removed now or can't I load it because I'm too far away? Uh, 
I don't know if I can use that fake player for... Oh! Has entered your visual range and has left. No. I'm not sure. No, you bitch. Why? Oh, yeah. Well, fair. If I have no other food in there. Interesting. Should I try playing around with the console again? Oh, does it show overworld coordinates? Then I'm almost at three million. Well, two and a half million. That's cool. I don't know if that one is of any use. Huh. Oh, I could have read the your value there. I was like wondering when I was setting values what like system it used. It seems to be um, Uh, what's the thing in English? I don't know, but you know, yeah, fucking totems. I don't get text rather. Okay, let's see. Mode strafe or mode on ground. Or strafe or on ground. I want to use on ground. And I don't want to make it too crazy.
I wonder how that messes with your resolution because I'm playing in windowed mode now. I can see at the bottom you have a little black thingy there. Should be fine, but this allows me to do other stuff and you can still see in full screen. Wow. But I cannot like keep the menu. Which one? Um, sprint. No. Is it sprint that I have activated? Yeah, so sprint is the one that keeps me sprinting. Set sprinting forwards. Wait, is the raging one? Does it only mean that I can walk against what? Ah, nah, not really. So it's just set sprinting, so I could also in the auto walk module add a boolean for sprint. And then set sprinting. <sighs> I mean, also the sprint module stops to sprint. After eating. So I probably have to constantly run in it on update move state. Hmm. I wonder if you can get the sprint state as well.
go eat. Okay, let me do shit while I'm minimized. Um, well, I can also maximize it, but whatever. Um, let's check textures. Didn't I have a... Oh no. A re resource pack with like... Ah, why did he fold ones in there? I forgot how to obtain it. Uh. Now he stopped running. I think you just have to extract like the files, default, extract, default. I did it so many times already, I always forget it. Okay. So I think I can just extract the contents of a jar file using jarxf, jar file. So the question is, what jar file do we use? It's probably the one in um where did I get it from? Config core core mods find dot name jar mods no wait Where's the executable? Oh, there's an assets directory. That's probably a wrong one. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, I can find it probably in my. Wait, I have no Minecraft. Oh, I have Minecraft directory bin, and there we have what the fuck? Nah, that's wrong. Libraries. Ah, oh, come on. Where did I find? How was it? Versions probably versions one dot twelve dot two the jar file MKDF C full jar XF one dot twelve jar and put it into the full rm dot class and we have assets LS assets okay so instance versus packs. Um OK. 
Okay. Okay, that should do it. Okay. So where do I find the inventory? Probably under ha huh, textures, uh, graphical user interface, book, dial tools. Bars, container, presets, no, title, no. Shouldn't it be in the graphical user interface? Recipe book, recipe book, that one looks. Okay, that shit has to be. Isn't that the inventory? Nah. Spectator widgets. Widgets.png. Is that the inventory? That looks like. The inventory, the hotbar down there. But. It's not the inventory itself. Icons. So that's the health. Shit like that. Uh huh. It has to be here, don't? I mean, demo background. Or is it under. Or can I? Maybe it's not a texture, maybe it's a well a model and a block stage recipes, but uh I doubt it's a shader open terminal. Um so let's see. Search for inventory. Inventory. Here, con in container inventory. Wait, if you go to uh, GUI container inventory. Ah, why didn't I look into that thing? Brewing stand, furnace, mm, villager, horse, dispenser. Yeah, that looks good. So. Inventory open with GIMP. Right, so okay, 
let's how do we do that in the least ugly way can i just transparency color to alpha Did I make it? Was it that easy? Did I just do it? Inventory PNG export export. I mean that's my, how my inventory looks now. And if I go to resource packs, inventory, yes, done. I hope I don't crash my game or shit. Yeah, not really, huh? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Fuck. Wait, why does it look so shit? And now I don't have an original. Oh, wait, I do. Okay. That's. Anyways, let's delete these files. Um, yeah. Only want GUI. We only want container. Container, and there we can keep everything. In a new directory. Oh, whoa, I pressed a button. Uh, Inventory vanilla assets, Minecraft textures, graphical user interface, container, inventory. I mean, I don't want to run with a um, like eraser over it because that's probably well i can yeah in the end i would probably do it inventory if i make the size big enough and put a mask over it it should be professional enough okay let's do that so we mask that shit in wait not like this go pixel perfect Like this, yes. That didn't work out. It, ah, it did. Okay, so we mask that shit. Then we go to the eraser and we crank up the size to a zillion. Then we make it super hard and half opacity. Yeah, that looks good. Then we export, replace, export. Okay, options. Uh, inventory. Inventory, yes. Are you excited if it worked? Uh, that doesn't look too well functional. Do I have to like make it bleh. Now that looks kinda unchanged, doesn't it? Export inventory inventory export. Do I have to like reload it or Maybe deactivate it first, and then, yeah, activate it. No, I mean, minus X, did I? 
Fuck up the direction. No, I did. I mean, Resource packs, inventory. De it is exported at the right location. At least it should be. Mm -hmm. So that's vanilla, that's expected. Mm. And now. Does it even load again? I mean, oh, int d look at that. So, aha. Uh -huh. So probably the transparency actually worked. That's why I test the edit my .com here. I forgot that there's a crafting. But there's probably something non-transparent behind it as well. So looks like I have to edit more images. Interesting. So let's see. Um, delete that. So that one is working then. But recipe background. Villager, horse, dispenser, furnace. Is that like a generic background? And the brings and crafting table. Or is it creative inventory? Hopper? Generic. Mm, shulker box. I, I wonder which one it slaps like behind it or creative inventory. I mean, it, tab inventory. I mean, most certainly did not slap um, container. Wait, let's check vanilla. Right sides of the icons, recipe book. Hmm. Widgets. Do you think it slapped widgets behind it? Nah. I mean, the only thing that, like, from a name perspective, makes sense to be behind it is like generic fifty-four, which is essentially a double chest, isn't it? I doubt there's a like. It doesn't even fit like form-wise. Oh, I know what is behind it. The default one, isn't it? So if I if um isn't it like that that the default look is um 
I can't make shit transparent. Or am I tripping right now? I mean, I can make other shit transparent, can I? Can I? Let's look it up. Make Minecraft inventory transpa transparent. Boom. Yeah, so what image is he? Inventory.png And then he makes it transparent. Yeah, I did that step. Wait, he cuts it. Well, then he... Well, he does shit, okay. Then he pastes this in. So far, so good. Inventory in container, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. That's what I did. Is he telling me that, that this is everything you have to do? Wait. Yeah, he still has the default look in there. You bitch, why did it work for you? Did I forget to add like a alpha channel or shit like that? Open. I mean, it obviously is transparent in here. Um, transparency, yeah, it has an alpha channel. It It is transparent, like that's... I mean, that guy only edited the same area I did. It's not like I forgot something. Ah, oh, but what did I... How did I mess up shit? Mm. Oh no, now I have my text here and I can't get it away. Wait, I can't, can't I? Like this. Yeah, I totally messed that one up. I mean, it should be that simple, shouldn't it? What is it talking about versions? I selected a... Are you fucking kidding me? So this is now transparent. Is it like boolean if it's transparent or not? I mean, does it like... How, I mean, what, like, in, like, what? Wait a minute. 
How does that make sense though? Why can't I erase but only like literally delete? Yeah, that's not how you reload. Maybe I reload by doing that. Wait. Whoa, I now put in the wrong one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. So it can't be half transparent am i getting that am i getting that right why how what <laughs> fuck's sake Okay, you, well then, maybe I should rewatch the video what that guy did actually regarding image, um, image editing. So he was like color range. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think he, yeah, he actually also just removed everything and only, he didn't make it transparent, he like, did he? Mm. Yeah, I should do that nicer, maybe one day, but I can probably also do the same trick he did in Photoshop with like detecting a color and Fuzzy select select a continuous region based on basis of a color. Okay. Okay, that one, yeah. That one is actually convenient. So the fuzzy select tool, this wizard star thingy there. press a gazillion times ah, maybe not that one yeah that should do it Hello. Okay. Can I see more shit now? Yeah. Yeah. So I can walk. 
and I can look at my inventory and still see stuff so that's good um, should I keep it like that messed up and push it to to github to my resource pack yeah you know what yes <laughs> um should I transparent also anvils and crafting tables and so on maybe crafting table but for now let's go with inventory <laughs> I'm so messed up okay Block, font, language, loot tables, models, recipes, shaders, structures, texts. And we keep textures. Let's also ignore um, the get ignore. The vanilla one. Oh, I called it default and the get ignore can be vanilla default. Um, let's say this um, uh, transparent inventory. Ah, wait. Do not come yet. Git log. Git. Ah, uh, okay. Look how messed up I like <laughs> manually erased here and here and here and, and what is that even? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I really don't understand. Ah, oh, he, he struggles to eat food if he's in um, inventory. Probably because you sent the server that you're currently in state inventory and the server won't let you open your inventory and eat food. It's weird though that the server lets you open your inventory and walk. So if it's a real inventory, not only a like simulated one on the client side if it's actually like i don't know if the, the client says if the client probably sends the server that the inventory is open mm -hmm. because the server keeps track of the inventory state and i doubt it only sends the changes to the inventory probably also sends the state inventory 
and then the server can say well while you're in inventory you're not allowed to eat you're not allowed to walk and shit like that so i wonder how the walking works yeah Yeah, I don't know if you believe it or not, but after one hour of walking straight in a tunnel, I'm kind of bored already. Um, so let's see what I can do to like keep myself busy. shit without you guys because you know copyright and crap otherwise I would love to um, have you with me enjoy the crap I'm not going to consume oh no Wait, guys, I just, I just had a realization. Maybe the Saul hack gives me uh, another opportunity on X-Ray because I was too stupid to do it um, texture pack wise. As you, well, now probably figured out transparent stuff in the inventory was hard for me. So is transparent blocks for me. Um, but let's see, maybe it's probably render and it's probably no render and I can no render normal blocks um, no that's that's not it um, precam brightness is there no x-ray I mean I x carry I mean I've I've watched, like I've scanned all the modules multiple times now and I should probably remember X-Ray. What? It, it, I mean, does this client not have X-Ray? 
are you are you serious right now? I mean, X-ray, I would profit um, mining some diamonds. I mean, I'm not in the early, early game anymore and I have some blocks of diamonds, but um, I'm sure I would profit, uh, profit a lot anyways from, from a proper X-ray regarding, yeah, re resources. And like toggling stuff via uh, client x-ray is, I mean, even if I get the texture pack running, it's always um, like inconvenient to toggle texture packs. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It should be... Wait, ah, there's block highlight. Hehe. <laughs> wait, highlights the block you're looking at. Nah. That's so crazy. What the fuck? Should I give um, the texture pack approach another try? Nah, it's probably stupid. Should I open an issue? I mean, I guess nobody, I, yeah, I, I guess nobody will do it. I should probably build it myself, but I don't know how to code. <laughs> should I give it a try? Nah. I mean, where, where does it even render blocks? Where can I like not render or not? Well, ah, I can look at the render, no render code and is there something like blocks oh pumpkin overlay that's cool ah it doesn't render fire overlay interesting that's like my texture pack that decreases that I think sign text might be the closest one to blocks. Should I? Um, ba -bum. Wait, why did it walk in there? I mean, I don't I have, I didn't have safe walk activated. What? How can I? What the fuck? So. Let's look at no render. Um, no render module. Pa 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 da. On render sign. Cancel. <laughs> okay. Well, that's ridiculous. But where did you get the on render sign method from? I mean, I have the forge repository here and it does not provide the on render sign method, which confuses me. Anyways, so uh, we are recording since one hour already. So let me do a quick cut here and see you in the next episode.